right, so that was a playthrough of the spinners. I'll be around. And here's a quick breakdown of it. So the bass is really important because the bass does this. Okay, so the bass is playing E, G sharp, F sharp, G sharp, G sharp, F sharp, G sharp, E. And that's important because the first chord is E, major seven. Second chord is G sharp minor. And the third chord is B major seven over F sharp. So it's a slash chord, it's got the five in the bass. And that gives it a little tension, it keeps the groove moving, so it's kind of unresolved. And then the right hand on that is like this. Uh, keeping it snappy and, and punchy, but letting the right notes ring out um, on the E chord, E major seven. And then the G sharp minor, you're gonna get the top four strings. And then the B major over F sharp, you're playing just Cs. Okay, now the second part, second guitar part has the octaves. And it has this little snap to it, to Sometimes, and then sometimes, and then that break. And that guitar does these cool little licks like, See little double stops. It actually changes. It's like a changes to thirds there, right? So it's like fourths to thirds. That way you can go right back into that chord. So that gives it the backbeat. And those two parts together are really what make up the groove of the guitar. Okay, so that's kind of how the formula works and the shapes for those top little chunks, by the way, are. I was playing up here too. I think sometimes he goes up there, right? Oh. So those are the little triadic shapes that they're playing over the top of the groove in the little uh, double stop fills are real nice and the octaves. So it's a simple song, but the octaves, double stop fills, and the little triad backbeats, along with the nice little chord change, keeps the groove and putting the five in the bass on the one chord. All that stuff um, adds together to make this a really good groove where a simple three chord song has a lot of momentum and uh, variation throughout it. All right, hope you dug that and uh, We'll see you later.